Have you ever wondered what's out there? Taken a few minutes to reflect on the countless billions of stars, just like our own sun. And have you ever wanted to take a closer look? Me too. I have a childhood ambition to fulfil, but not tonight, because I'm expecting an early morning delivery. Investigating the contents of new boxes can be an exciting time for all concerned. Not all curiosities are satisfied, however, by the discovery of a shiny new telescope, and especially not at the crack of dawn. Ask any child to sketch a picture of a planet, and if it's not our home world, then chances are it'll look something like this. And tonight, for the slightest possibility of glimpsing Saturn and its fascinating rings for the first time in my life, I'll need the help of this telescope. I only need to figure out how to put it together. I've assembled the tripod first, placing it where I intend to use the completed telescope tonight. There's even a large letter N informing novices like me which way to align the tripod. Now, I might be able to get away with the odd Dutch tilt in filmmaking, but for astronomy, I reckon things should be levelled up. I'm sure spending a few minutes doing this now could save me hours of frustration later. I've had a go at cobbling together the next stage, called the mount, and even if I'm not entirely convinced I've done it correctly, it certainly looks impressive. I've secured the mount to the tripod, so all I need to do now is wait until it gets dark. Okay, maybe not that dark. Next comes the telescope itself, or if I wanted to sound like I really knew what I was talking about, the OTA, Optical Tube Assembly. A high-powered eyepiece is needed to magnify the image of Saturn, though I'll need to locate the planet first with this wide-angled finder scope. Finally, heavy weights are added to a steel rod to counterbalance the complete assembly. Next comes the scary part. Whizzing a precision instrument around in all directions at high speed looks like fun, but I'm just checking it's balanced. Honestly. There's one more thing I've got to do. Night vision is totally ruined under white light, but luckily I can switch to any colour I want. I just hope the neighbours don't get the wrong impression about my house. I can see a bright dot low down in the sky, just about where I reckon Saturn should be. It's easy to centre the dot in the finder scope, so with luck I'll be able to focus on it. is amazing. Time to attach the camera. That's right, I don't just want to look at it. My camera has a special adapter and with it I can record the image. The shimmering you see on the camera's live view screen is caused by the Earth's atmospheric turbulence. But there it is, Saturn, right here, right now. So, how well did I do? Well, I've just printed this image, which is marginally better than my Crayola scribble. But you know, it doesn't really matter. This isn't a photograph ripped out of a book or downloaded from the internet. I saw this with my own eyes, exactly this, for real. That's not bad for a telescope that cost about a week's wage. But you know, 
even though assembling the telescope was less complicated than I expected, I'm now aware I'm only just starting to work out what the plethora of levers, knobs, gears, dials and general wiggly things actually do. And if I can learn to set it up correctly, it should allow me to follow the night sky and capture other objects out there. Enormous galaxies, pretty star clusters and incredible nebulae of gas clouds that glow in amazing colours. But that is for another night.